Hey, my dudes. That's right. Oh, Pete is back. He is back. Don't know how long for, but he's back. Yeah, it's a model tugboat, as you can see. Uh, again, I've not done a video in such a long time. You know, I've always been here. It's just that there was nothing out there that I really want. You know. And I'm not going to buy a crawl. Or a, you know, a short course truck. Just for the sake of buying one, you know. It's just the way it is. You know, a crawler's a crawler. You guys all know that. Anyway, I managed to pick this up. You know, from a guy who sadly just passed away last month. His name was Ian, and this was his. Known Ian for at least oof, 25 years. I don't want to get you know, but his wife asked me could I sell this, so I bought this one and we'll go on to that in a minute a Land Rover Axial that's actually on sale right now guys on eBay but like I said, we'll get on to it in a moment uh, this is it here the fair play. Now, these things here, I don't know what these are called, but when Ian bought this, he didn't buy it with those two parts. He just bought the basic model, as you see it here. Uh, the reason he didn't want those is because it tells you in here, you know, they're, they're brushless and they didn't want they didn't want brushless motors, you know, inside uh, something that's going to go in water, basically I can see his point so it did come with the holes, and you probably won't see them in dark marks yeah, you can and there's the other one, just, just there, you can just see it. It's a fiberglass demon when I bought this from his, from his wife. And uh, that there is that. What you're looking at is something from that Henlong tugboat. So, obviously it just... Whoops, down there like that. Hey, hey. There you go. And it goes like that and it turns. I had to drill that hole again. I've not got the prop or the shaft that's coming. Again, it's just not here. It's just not here yet. And it should work. Now when I take this off, you're probably going to see what I see. This looks like it's more that way, it looks off centre. But this is a pencil. You can see the cut, that's the centre line, that was already there from the factory. And you put the pencil in. It lines up, bang on. It just looks off. I know it does look off, but it's not. It's just a bit strange why it looks like that. Let me put you down for a moment. Don't want to lose that. But yeah, it's a fair play. Fair play. Don't know who KY models are. Again, I got everything apart from this. Because Ian didn't want them. So now they're there. Those things, if anybody knows what that is called. That's a sort of motor. 
and the sort of the rudder in one, and it all works for little, these little brushless motors, they were there, which I didn't like, and I don't like them either, you know, so I'm sort of glad they're not there. But I did have to, that's a little bit of a mess, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, it's watertight. So yeah, it's a bit of a, yeah, I believe this is the, I was going to say it's a little bit of a puzzle, but it's just putting it together, isn't it? Instructions are okay. Like I said, everything's there, all these little bits. You know, the railings, they're all there. It's in the box. Yeah, I don't know why it's showing that. When Ian got this, he said they were attached. All these bits, so... I think this model went through... What's certain updates? They never updated the well this because there's sort of contradicting things in it. It's telling you one thing, then you go and do it, and it's not there. So it is what it is. It is what it is. There's a lot of these sort of railings. I just hope I get in the right place. But you yeah, know, just take your time. With it. I'm going a lighter blue, and this is going to be like a sort of sandy colour, the wheelhouse part, so. But, I'll put that to the side just now. So like I said guys, this is one of Ian's last models for sale, if you ask me to get rid of it. Yeah, it's on eBay. Again, I don't want to get into details about it. Because it's all on eBay. It's one of those belt drives. Uh, what do you call those shocks? What do you call them? Those lie down ones. I can't remember what they're called. But portal axles, all metal, front and back. All new links, new drive shafts. It's held on by those two. Holes, they go through the front of the body, and there's a little clip right there. A little body clip. You probably won't see it. See, you can see it now. And that holds the back on, comes out through the back. Uh, I'll post anywhere in the UK with us. This is me, I'm keeping this. I like this spot. So yeah, beadlock wheels, servo. Can't remember the name of those shocks. Look well. The lay down shocks, you know what I mean. Tiny little, tiny little crack there. But Ian never even got to run this, guys. So all those parts are new, never run. He passed away suddenly, so... Yeah, a bit of a shame, but... A bit of a shame, but... It is what it is, isn't it? We all go at some point. So guys, I will be back. I will be building this. I'll paint it, I'll show you the progress. Eh, uh, one last thing. I may have to cut a hole here, we'll see, because the new prop's gonna go in probably about here. And I don't know if I'll be able to get in and, you know, do what I've got to do through these two holes. But, if I've got to cut that little section out, it'll be it. That's a little scale container. Pretty nice. Doors open. Yeah, I think it looks good there. When all this goes on. I think it looks good. Maybe get another one, put it here. 
Up there, yeah. So we just have a video to show you that. That, that does look nice. Again, I'm going to change the name. I'm going to do this dark burgundy here, obviously. Lighter blue. Isn't that like a sandy colour? Apart from that, I'll obviously copy the rest. Do the railings blue, same as there. Well, the same blue that I'm going to use, do that there. You know what I mean. Like I said, guys, I just, there's nothing out there that I want, you know. You all know that, you are all RC guys as well. You know, you've got one RC, you've got them all. You know, it's. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know, so this tosser's back. So there you go. I was never away. But, like I said, I didn't want to just come on and. Oh, I got a new. I got a new camera. Not too sure how to work it. How's the other switch? Get on! <laughs> It's not a touch screen, I don't think it is. No, obviously not. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully I'll see you in the uh, new year. This is the new year, sorry. I've no idea what the hell I'm saying anymore. Like I said guys, if you want that landy, an Axel SCX-10 with a hard body Land Rover, again, something to offer guys, don't be too mean if you put an offer in, it's going to ease widow, so. Uh, where are we, hang on. That is the sort of colour scheme I'm going for. That's in... I bought a film about five years ago. It's a lighter blue. Again, what you're seeing doesn't represent the blue. You're seeing it pretty light, but I'm seeing that darker than what you're seeing. It. That tanny colour, I've got a, a spray tin of that down there. And I've got the burgundy coming, so I'm going to copy that sort of paint scheme. I've been working at it a while and I sort of like that. So. Anyway, I'm going to sign off there. Again, apologies for being away, but you know how it is. Especially with the cost of living, you know, I just can't. <laughs> I can't buy an RC every week anymore. I don't think anybody can. So, thanks for watching if you're watching. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, but uh, yeah, but please have a look at that SCX10 guys, again I'll take a decent offer on it just to get it away, I would keep it myself but I am, I've got one, two, I've probably got about six crawlers, I don't really need another one. So, I'll see you all soon. Happy New Year everyone, and take care. <laughs>